Okay, well, uh, I sent through a rather large email that was attempting to orientate everybody into the course. Uh, I was getting a bit of feedback that still some people were needing a bit more direction on where to go on this thing. Uh, so I wrote that email, and if you're anything like me, you hate reading long emails and stuff, so I thought I'd whip up this quick video. Okay, the be-all and end-all for this course is the URL online-learning-communities.blogspot.com. And that's what we're looking at here. That is the course weblog, and all the announcements, everything you need to know and need to be doing are listed here. Okay, what it lists is the most recent. See that date there? Friday, August 10th. That's the uh, most recent posting to the blog. If we scroll on down, see what I mean by that massive catch up there? There's one by Bronwyn, Monday, August 6th, week two. And so that was a little catch up announcement. And then August 2nd was Icebreakers. Okay, I uh, don't know if they were the same dates. No, they're not. But anyway, it goes all the way back to the welcome message. Uh, and all of these messages, as they're typed up in this blog, are forwarded to the email forum. Okay, so if you're forgetting to look at the blog uh, and you're keeping track, track of the email forum, then uh, you won't miss it. But if you're, like some people, hating the email forum and wanting to turn all of it off, then you can just keep remembering to come back to this blog. Okay, to the right of the uh, uh, website is another column. So that was the main content column. And to the right is where all this sort of uh, up-to-date data is coming in from other places. I've uh, listed the quick links. So we've got the course weblog home. That'll just bring you to the home page of the course weblog, the one we're looking at here. If I was to click the title, that would just look at that article uh, in particular. Okay, and uh, over here is a link to the email forum website. So if I just click that, I'm going to open it in a new tab. Well, what I did is a uh, you know, way to do that if you have a tab browser is to right click open in a new tab. And this is the email forum. We're using Google Groups for an email forum. Here's the latest threads that are going on. You can click into that thread and reply from there. So you can, this is automatically set up to come to your email, but you could theoretically you could switch off your email altogether and come into this uh, website and answer and dis uh, discuss topics, same as you're doing in the uh, Blackboard discussion forum area. Okay, back to the weblog and to the quick links. We just click the email forum website. Now the Blackboard content. But click this one in a new tab. Here it is opening here. And luckily it's remembered I'm logged in, so I don't have to go through that again. Uh, and we look at the facilitating e learning communities. And here is the recent announcements as Bronwyn has made to week two. It's pretty much the same as what was in the blog actually in this time. Uh, and it's giving you an update of what you're meant to be doing here, which is the Course Topics Module 2 Personas. Over here, Course Topics, Module 2, Personas. And you read through that. And we're meant to be over in the discussion area here. And I think it's Activity 2.1, Creating Personas for the Group. You click that, and there's the threaded forum pretty much the same as what it could look in uh, email groups. Right, uh, back to the uh, central place, which is the course weblog. And uh, what other quick links we've got? We've got a course calendar. Click that one in a new tab. This is also a service offered by Google. It's a way to keep a calendar uh, open for the public to see and for you guys to see. And as you can see, there's some dates there, mainly to do with our uh, meetings that we have online through the web conferencing service. You need a headset and you need to set your computer up for that. Some of, most of us have already been there. So you can see here we've got the guest lectures coming. So the first guest lecture we have is from Melbourne, James Farmer. So if we click that one and there's the detail. James Farmer will be giving a lecture, 10 minute lecture on identity and ownership online. Uh, there's the link to the Illuminate conference, there's the date, etc. Um, and there's some more information about James Farmer and his blog, and there's the uh, time zones for mainly for James to refer to to compare Auckland to Melbourne time. Okay, so we'll just close that little pop up. There's the calendar. We can close the calendar down, close the blackboard down, even close the email forum down. We're back to the blog again for quick links. There's the web conference space, so we'll click this one. And this is to illuminate Live Manager, so uh, you'd log in here. Well, you don't even have to log in there, actually. All the meetings are set to public, so you just look at this uh, website here. You go to the calendar and click through the dates to find the meetings listed 
here. But there's no real reason you'd need to go to this at all because the meetings are linked to in the course calendar. And then there's a, a link to the World Clock Meeting Planner so that when others in the group start um, wanting to organise meetings um, with other experts, they can refer to the World Clock Meeting if they're offshore and uh, find out a, a common time. Right, now going down that column, that's the quick links over and done with. Here we've got the calendar and it's just a little window for a preview of what's coming up. So there's James Farmer again feeding in and the next guest lecture, Conrad Glukowski and then we've got Nancy White and a few others coming in. So it just displays it in this little window here so you don't have to open up the uh, calendar. Moving down that column further, here we have the most uh, top five, or not, not the top five, the five most recent threads being discussed in the email forum displaying here. And you can click those and they'll open up in a new tab. Click that one and here it is loading and there's the thread. Okay, and there's the responses and you can just at any time hit reply. Uh, further on down there is just a quick subscribe to the email forum for uh, outsiders coming in. And down below that is, as anybody in the email forum or anywhere else for that matter mentions a particularly worthwhile link, uh, it gets saved to a full list of links, which I'll open in the new tab. And here is the latest five links uh, that have been mentioned coming in here on the blog. Okay, so we'll just have a look at those full list of links as it loads up. There it is. We're using another free service called Delicious to keep track of all that. And here is all the links that have been saved by not just us, mind you. This is feeds coming in from anyone using Delicious, saving links related to learning community. Uh, but it's mostly us. We're probably the most active. In fact, it's me uh, tagging on your behalf. See, it's effect these are any anything that's mentioned in the in the uh, forum and the like. Here's some links coming in from other people. The art of building virtual communities. Uh, and in other ones, um, some. So it's quite quite interesting to see what others are loading in there. All right, that's an overview of the blog. Just further on down there from links is just the archive of the blog. As we go through the months and maybe in even a few years from now, you might refer back to this uh, resource. You can come back and find your way back through the uh, uh, through the blog archive. So just to reiterate. Everything to do with the course is on this website. You should commit to memory or save to your favorites this website, online-learning-community.blogspot.com, online-learning-communities.blogspot.com. That's everything you need because you have all of the links to everything else that's going on, and in the announcements, uh, pointers to what you should be doing, which refer obviously to these links. So in this announcement, you should be uh, looking at um, some Blackboard content from memory, Yes, here it is. The course blog, that's this. The email forum, that's where we pointed to Blackboard content. So all of this post is similar to this video, just an orientation to what's going on. But really what I really want to press is that everything to do with this course is on this course weblog. Well, thanks for listening. I hope this recording was of some use.